welcome back to another video on my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Barton. I make YouTube videos on the Toronto Marlies, and today we're talking about Josh Hosang returning from the Olympics. Just before we do get into the video though, if you do enjoy the videos, please make sure to leave a like. Please make sure to subscribe as well, just so I know everyone who's watching is enjoying these videos. Now though, back to the Marlies, Josh Hosang is back. The Marlies are in a comfortable position, sitting in second place in the North Division, only behind the Utica Comets with a 24-14-3-1 record. They're going to want to make a strong push into the playoffs and do something they haven't done in a few years, which is push for a Calder Cup. And listen, with the team they got, it's pretty possible. You look at the likes of Josh Hosang, Alex Steves on the back end, Christians Rubens, Alex Viega, Carl Dahlstrom. If they're not up with the Leafs, those defensemen... They'll be down, and as well, you have Joey Anderson, Brett Sini, I could go on and on, Nick Robertson, if he comes back down, and then you look at a few other players, and it's Joseph Wool, Michael Hutchinson, Eric Schalgren, I could go on and on, Joseph Duzak, there's a lot of players that this Marlies team has who are playing very good, and who make this team so good that it can do what they want and contend for a possible Calder Cup. But again, though, back to Josh Hosang, they recently got him back, from Team Canada at the Olympics in Beijing. It was an unfortunate time for him because he didn't get a medal or anything like that. Canada really didn't do the best or what they wanted to do, but Ho Sang's back. He's with Toronto. He skated on his own a few days ago, got back into the rhythm of things, did a skate test, he said, which he passed, and now he's back. You know, obviously it didn't end the way that we wanted it to, and that's unfortunate, but... Uh... You know, it was a great group of guys, a great experience. Uh, it definitely makes you grateful for what you have at home. I mean, um, I do think it's really cool to see culture around the world so you can appreciate, like, where you come from and stuff. And there's certain things there that were amazing that I wish we had here, and there's certain things that are here that I wish that they could experience there, and I think that that's one of the beauties of the world. Hosang is coming back to the Toronto Marlies, obviously without an NHL contract in place. And while the Olympics really didn't seem like it was the best for him. He played the way he did, and at times, I've said it before, I believe in recent videos or maybe an article, that it's it's difficult when you get to the Olympics because you're with a team and the team is trying to build chemistry so fast. Sometimes it doesn't work out. But back to Ho Sang with the Marlies, he's looking not for an NHL deal. He wants to just play, and he's not focused on that. He wants to just have fun playing hockey and do something special with this Marley's team. I asked him yesterday what he'd like to see from himself personally, and he didn't say one word about himself. He talked about the whole Marley's team. Us winning <laughs> more, more than losing. <laughs> that would be a good end of the season to me. Uh, that would probably mean that we're lifting up some hardware, and, uh, and I think that that's uh, ideal. I think we have the group to do it. I think for us it's about uh, focus from the top down. One thing I've noticed about this Marley's team is when Ho Sang says that, it's not just him saying it. It's a lot of players. You have Rich Clune who says it. You have a bunch of other guys. Joey Anderson as well, who I will have an article on. And let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a YouTube video on it. I did a one-on-one -on -one with him yesterday. So let me know if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of players on this team who talk about not their personal goals, but the team's goals instead because they want to see each other succeed rather than just themselves. But if you don't want to go too far into the future talking about the playoffs, the Marlies are just happy to have Josh Hosang back with the team. Yeah, I love Josh. You know, I think that Josh um, has lived up to his end of the agreement coming here and he's made our team extremely, uh, has made our team a lot better. And um, I don't know much about Josh in his earlier days. I don't care to listen to what other people say or whatever has followed him into this organization, but the player that I've seen come here and embrace the program in its entirety um, and grow along the way. And, and it, you saw when he took a dirty hit in Lehigh Valley how he responded. So that's how much we love Josh. And I was so proud of him to get into the Olympics. And you know, he's got a bright future. He's going to help us a lot. But if you do want to talk about how far they're going, it's obviously yet to be seen. We don't know. I can't tell the future. But I know this Marley's team is good, and it's even better with Ho Sang on it. He's a really fun person to be around and get to know. Um, 
a lot of times when we're playing well as a team, it's because of the, the big personalities that bring a lot of energy, and, and he adds that uh, to our group. Now, Toronto plays tonight. It's Wednesday night. They're playing against Abbotsford at home. This will likely likely be Josh Hosang's first game. That's what Greg Moore said. He said there's a great chance that he'll be in. So it, it seems like he will be in, but we'll have to wait and see until then. Let me know what you thought of this video by leaving a like, commenting down below, and hitting subscribe if you really enjoyed it. I appreciate all the support on the Marley's videos, all the support on everything else. I have started making TikToks again. <laughs> if you want to see me walk to the rink, um, on a maybe day-to-day -day basis. If you want to see me do any of that, my TikTok is Nick underscore Barden. My Instagram is the same as Twitter, at Nick Barden. And yeah, that is it for this video. Again, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. Thank you for all the support on the Marley's content. And we'll see you in the next video, which maybe, just maybe, might be about Joey Anderson.